mod chip. And the only thing that you need is Jay's buying Agent Under Fire for the PlayStation 2. And I went ahead and got that. You can get it off of Amazon for pretty cheap. I got mine for a dollar. You had to pay for shipping and handling, obviously. Actually, I think it was 50 cents plus shipping and handling, so it was like four dollars. So, I don't even know if it comes with a case. I'm not really worried about that, but if it did, I guess that's a plus. And it did come along. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how to do this. Alright y'all, now um, I'm going to need y'all to go <clears throat> to the link in the description. And I'm going to need you to download these three files. First, you need to get Apache. That's downloading. There it is. DVD Encryptor or Image Burn. Um, you can use whichever one you want. I already have DVD Decryptor on this machine, I think. No, I don't. So I'll get that too. <clears throat> and you want you launch Elf. First thing you want to do is install DVD Decryptor. Go ahead and push it down that you don't really need to do that. Run it. Put in your agent under fire disk into your machine, your computer. Go up top, go to mode, ISO, and read. Now when it's gonna create an image on your computer of agent under fire. And then I'm gonna do some more stuff with it, so. I'll be back when this is done. Alright, now when you get done, when it gets done extracting, it'll make a little tune, you know, and then you'll know that your stuff is extracted. <clears throat> you may as well leave DVD to crypto open because we're going to need it later on in the process. Okay, I made a new folder on my desktop called Mod, as you can see, it's empty. You need to open up the two zip files that you um, that you downloaded from the website that was in the description and extract that into the mod folder that you make on your desktop. So I extract the Ulaunch Elf in there and extract Apache, 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 Flamachi in there. <clears throat> Of all times for this not to respond. Man, this sucks. There it goes. Alright, now you got all that in there. And you want to run Apache. Go to open ISO. Go to where your ISO is extracted. It should be in my computer, your C drive, or whatever drive you use. And it should be bond AUF. Go ahead and click it, push open. Now, when you open it, you should see all these files right here. Okay. Now, you're going to click on the driving.elf. Go up to ISO tools and change talk. Now, I don't ever remember what the talk is I'm supposed to change it to, so go back to the website. And it is 915196. Change that to 915196. Update. And that's updated. Now, you want to go back to the mod, go to ulaunch.elf, and you want to change this, change the name of this uh, uncompressed boot.elf to the name of this, driving.elf. It's case sensitive, so you need to make it all uppercase and everything. So, driving.elf. There it is right there. Now go back to Apache. 
um, forgive me. Um, okay, update a selected file. You need to make sure driving that elf is um, selected. Now update it. Now go to the mod folder on your desktop. Go to you launch that elf and driving that elf open and updates it. And there you go. That's all you got to do to that. Now that's all updated. Now what you need to do is go back in the DVD editor, insert a blank DVD into your um, DVD drive, into your DVD burner. <clears throat> Change the mode from read to write. Okay, and go find your your ISO file on your um, your C drive. Open it on up and burn it. Now I'm going to take another break and come back to y'all when this is done burning. Alright, now after your, uh, you get done burning your DVD, which is your backup. Uh, your you know agent under fire disc uh, at the beginning of the video I forgot to tell you you need a USB flash drive and I'm going to put the link to the description in for this newbie package and just copy everything that's in this newbie package in, onto your flash drive and put it into your PS2 and that's all you need to do with that Now, after you have your game burned, after you get those burning, this is mine right here. I wrote Age on Fire on it, so it's a big deal. You're gonna need a PS2 that will, a modded PS2 that will, you know, play discs while the disc tray is open. Uh, now, the simple, it's very simple. I uh, just, I'm not gonna do a video on it, but if you turn, type in, block the sensors on the PS2 in the YouTube, you can easily find a video. There's plenty of them out there. That's the way I learned how to do mine. But anyway. Uh, make sure your USB flash drive is on there in here with your MC boot on there and a memory card so that you can install it on there. Uh, it takes two megabytes to install the MC boot, so just make sure two megabytes is free on one of your um, um, also train of thought, memory card. Turn on the PS2. So yeah, go ahead and load this up. <coughs> You need to get to the driving level also, so you have to complete the first level of the game, which it doesn't take that long. It may take you two to three minutes if you just rush through it. But I've already done it just for time's sake. Skip through all this garbage. No, I can't skip it. Okay, never mind then. Guess we have to watch all this nice cinematic. Do I have to watch this too? Wow, okay. This is cool. Okay, there you go. Skip it. All right, and after you do get all that done, you get past the drive on the first level, and now you're at the driving level. Uh, save your data, so just in case, you know, blah, blah, blah. This game takes forever to freaking load. It's ridiculous, man. It really is. Okay, there we go. Uh, go to the mission select screen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I had to load. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. There we go. Load that one. Yes. Alright, now, mission selects. Now you're on the driving level. Now, with this, you're going to need to swap out the disc. This. Swap it out. Yeah, just keep spinning. Go back over here. Push X on it. Just load it up, and it should boot up the start mission. And it should bring up the boots. Okay. okay now push circle. Go down to mass. Push circle again. Hold on a second. That's not right. 
just gonna read my flash drive. Hold on a second. Take it out and put it back in. There it goes. So go down to freemcboot.elf. Should pull that up. Go to multi version install at the top. Push X. Detect the memory card. Click on the memory card you want to install it on. Push OK. Loading. Checking. Decrypting. Blah, blah, blah. Signing DVD elf. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Writing, writing. Writing, writing, blah. So right now it's just putting all that stuff on my memory card. Still putting all that on there. Still putting it on there. <clears throat> If you don't feel like watching this, you can always skip ahead. There we go. Successfully installed. Okay. Now, <clears throat> go ahead and turn off on PS2. Take this out. Take out the flash drive also. Don't need it in. Now just boot it up with nothing in it, just your memory card. And there we go. Got everything you need. See y'all later.